and welcome back all right so uh last time i was also over here as you can see <gasps> there is most likely a chest in here there are also plants in here and from what I can tell, I need to be at the other side of this to get a perfect angle on it. Just like so. Well, that should have done it. I've also seen where the vinyl of these braciers is, though I do not know if I can reach it. You know, sometimes I wonder to myself, did I really press the record button? Because I can't recall. Oh, how do I even... You know, this entire place makes you think that you need to skill something. Just go up the side of something. But then there's no actual way to get up. Which is kind of odd. I know you're up there, I just don't know how to get up there. <laughs> how do I get up to you? Is there like a thing I need to hit with my axe? Am I missing an easy throw? Whoa. Wait a minute, that's a bomb, isn't it? Haha! <laughs> oh, I was really close to giving up on that one. Alright, give me the goodies. Ah, I see. One of three. That's great, but not yet for me. Alright, so this is the one time which you guys decide to not follow me and block my way, but that's fine. <laughs> need you or anything. Onwards! To the weird skull thing. And definitely not towards the objective, because who has time for that? Why is there a weird skull thing here? I see a goodie. Is this the buried treasure? Stone wood. What? Honed metal. Dwarf. I. Lethal. What? I. I wasn't even trying to find the treasure map. <laughs> I mean, if you insist. That is really nice. Alright, what's up here? I don't want this, do I? Ah, whatever. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Alright. Grab, snap, pop. Grab, snap, pop. Grab, snap, pop. This is such a safe way of combat, I'm absolutely boring. Not doing this. 
what? That's exactly why I didn't want to deal with you guys. for me to do this. These rooms. Mm-hmm. The, the desert of our ignorance. So much of who we are is lost. Not just this dedicated Leviathan, nor its ilk. Desiccated Leviathan. Alright. But the very identity of this creature is a knowledge forgotten. Was it a predator? A wraith of the barons to be feared? Avoided? Or perhaps a gentle behemoth, tamed by the prevision, predivision of the elves and farmed for meat. The answer is a grain of sand in the desert of our ignorance. The his our history remains buried beneath generations of dead elves. Should another manage to rise above our malignant dogma and search for answers, let these bones serve as a warning. If nothing changes, we will remain forgotten. The Consul. God, elves have had it rough. Alright, um, let's head up. Woo! I like me some health pickups. You can really feel the difference in the fence as well with all these upgrades. So, which is your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite? Alright. A mind expanding experience constructed by who else but Kavassir? Look around you, O oh God! Turn your head! Guide your metal friend with care, or else it be dead! Rescue its friends! Experience the tension! Immerse yourself in a new dimension! Uh. Hey! Hey, there it is. Last second evade, F yes. Juggling, I am so sorry, but I'm gonna try an evade build. Let's get it. I don't yet have to have the chip chest. That's fine though. Whee! Um, just need to take a look if I actually got all of the dodge skills while evading, while sprinting, drag the axe, while evading, hold back. Alright, so I need to hold back and forward. Forward, back. Alright, so... Back is spark, so that's range. And forward is an engage. Alright, so it's pretty intuitive, actually. I'll give it a try in my next fight. I'll probably switch it up with parrying. I mean, I've heard stories of juggling being really powerful in this game, but... Okay. Um... Yeah, there we go. It's kind of weird because the camera is on the sled, but the movement's definitely on the dogs. A place which is not our destination. Can I just. Yuckalucka? No. If I can't do it from here, can I 
probably am supposed to do from upstairs. Question is... How do I get there? Alright, so that's the way to get Look, there. There's a cave entrance! Yeah, I noticed it. I'll enter the cave entrance after I've explored these side rooms because I really want the chest piece of this set. Ah. Uh, yo, I changed my mind. This might actually be the cave entrance. I love how this is incredibly hard to do, hard to see. All right, let's just go in here. If this is the place, I'll do the quest. If it's not, I'll do the extra new objective. Hello. It's not. I think I circled around the wrong side. Come on. <gasps> what do you want me to do, game? I am getting pretty confused here. <gasps> am I missing something obvious again? And my problem is I don't want to stick around these places too long because I imagine it just like taking a lot of time for me to figure these things out so there's no route from upstairs that i can see uh, i just wanted to throw my axe to be honest i'm just supposed to throw it behind and then yeah that's, that's how you do it throw it behind Throw it behind. Good. You see, for someone who hasn't played the previous game, that's not that obvious. Alright. Not the thing I needed. Uh. How am I lost? There, there it is. It is incredibly easy to get lost in this place. All right, down we go. underneath the desert is the creature within yeah sounds like it we'll find it if we keep going what is this place a refuge for the dark elves by the looks of it one of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple <sighs> great
my purple senses. They are tingling. My I know more about the Dark Elves. I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alfarm, can you really blame them? Uh, I mean, I can. I definitely can, because we are not hostile towards them. So I'm definitely supposed to ping pong it between a few of these, but let's first go up. Are you? All right, so there. Yeah, I can. I hear you. Work of steel, please. Thank you very much. Glowing word, please. Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. Patience. Found within a deep, dark elven cave. They must use these as outposts to launch raids on the temple. A useful spot to watch their enemy and plan their next assault. Alright. Still not really clear on who's writing on glowy text, though. It just seems kind of weird to me that like one of these elves apparently has the time of day to just go write glowy shit on walls. With what seems to be Elfheim life. The creature you like. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. <laughs> I think I can get this. All right. No. All right. Is this a shortcut? No. Why is that not a thing? Oh, Behind you! Incoming! Alright, so let's take a look. That's a point. <laughs> Right, very minor encounter. Ah, uh, that's a ding dong.
Please tell me this is not a one way thing. Alright, just stay open like that. Cool. That's what I needed to know. Alright, so that's somewhere I can. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go there. I feel like I kind of worked on that one for a bit, so. Who knows? I've never been this interested before. I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. <laughs> nice to actually do something together. Alright, so from what I can tell, um, if I go towards that place, I go towards progress because the dialogue continues. There is one bell here. I'm guessing there's also a bell. Okay, wait a minute. That's a very nice wall base. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, this was where I just was. the third bell. There's the first. There's the second. There you are. I think I'm gonna have to go around, so let's just hope that I'm gonna need to backtrack. Otherwise I miss the chest and it'll be sad. Alright, so climb up. Jump. Climb to the right. We jump. And then we reach the exact place which I thought we were gonna reach. Sometimes you just need to progress a little bit to actually reach the places you want to be. But I will, I'm just like ghastly afraid that the game will just lock me out of the place where I'm trying to go. Genuinely assuming that by the time I get all three of those, uh, I'm most likely in the end game. Unless I go exploring. Whee! Come back! Come back! Alright! Oh, that was it. Okay, you are Oh, you're so great. Oh, 
Oh my god! Oh. Alright. Yeah, it's good that I'm doing all these optional missions, because if I were to continue the main story with these current stats, I think it would just get right. You're the type of man that you never we will leave well no i don't want to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there i remember a young lad whom until this very moment would take on an army of draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead draugr they're elves i just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes getting involved where we shouldn't uh. Through here. Hey. Hey. Uh, just collecting loot. I have an itch. An itch that can only be filled with riches. I wonder if this is considered gold or just like stone with layers or something. Can't do that quite yet. Not from here anyway. There we go. I might also actually upload some other videos on this channel. Because honestly, this channel is just to upload whatever I feel like. At the moment, that's going to work. Maybe at some point. Maybe Bloodborne, maybe it'll be Black Desert. Maybe it will be Earth Defense Force. 
maybe it will be old school RuneScape. That's what I feel like, really. Though I have to admit that old school RuneScape is. Uh... Wait. Can I? Oh! CJ! Alright. Um. No, that's definitely not a furnace, right? I see you. Combat? These ones. I remember last time Tear solved this one for me. Like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark. We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Because Is there you something care. you're not telling me? No. Okay. I think it's just genuinely because you care, man. He cares because you care. Alright, this is getting kind of weird. Um. Alright, so we're not supposed to do this with anything else. But right? So there's a few options. One, I have to do a retrieval run. Hold that. Hold it! Hey! you? Give thank. And from here, we can do this. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we did it. We big brain. Oh no. I just got this like premonition that later in the game there's gonna be hives that we cannot destroy and we're just gonna have to deal with infinitely spawning nightmares and little wretchlings. God, that's gotta be a nightmare. Whoa! Found it. Uh, what is it? Hey, Gefune's ghost! 
That's the largest bloody half you five ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. You don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. We can't all be wieners. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna continue. No. I'm not going to continue. There's gotta be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. I don't think I've really cleared anything here. Look, I get the idea here. You're supposed to bounce from one to the other, but move now. But it works. still can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Sure thing. I would love for this storm to be gone. Hmm? Why did they trap it down here? Hafgafas are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. I think Kratos is just kind of projecting onto those creatures. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Bam. I am not sure why I did that, to be completely honest. Oh, this is where I originally put it up down, I think. Yeah. All right. Doo -doo. We can cut the half goofa loose here. <laughs> so close. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our Dark Elf friends after all. I don't think so, because we've been Father, killing them. Thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. 
No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches... I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Oh, my heart. Hey. Hey. Yeah, cheeky, aren't we? There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed. Including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge <laughs> is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. Aye, aye, but twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go, the Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. <laughs> what is this? Here. Yeah. Golan Cole. Thanks to the opposition of the grotesque hypocrisy, Alfheim's Golan are a threat to our livelihood. Though I have called many on the surface, there are undoubtedly more down below, in the Dark Elves' hovels. So long as we deny them access to our light, the pair at the desert's entrance shall remain the only docile version of these foul beasts. Let them remain. They will serve as useful subjects for further light and fusion experimentation. Sheesh! <gasps> Uh. Yeah, I have no idea what those things are for. You, find out? Here. you were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alphon. But that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkvonger. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. Like mothers. Yes. Like your mothers. But his mother was <laughs> also a warrior. Enough goofing around, let's get back to the main mission. Pretty sure I'll be included since have seen most of the things around here. Uh, I don't actually know if I can... Alright, so there's no such thing as fast travel. Which means that I need to go along the edge of the map. 
think that is the place it needs to be. Let, let me double check. Yeah. Wait, there is a question mark there. What are you? Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. You think that means another half goofa? Where is it? Try that again. I wonder if I've missed one of these already. Like I figure uh, I haven't like fully explored Svart Svartelheim probably. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. Woo wee! That was rough. Dust of realms. Souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul, but not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. 
Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No way. I bet that only opens up later. This, but there's this. I don't know one of these. The chisel will not open this. Did the lighthouse put this lock here? Why would they care what happens in the barrens? A fair question. But until we find the right key, that poor half goofa will have to continue its solo act. <gasps> ah! Alright. And this game loves to make you backtrack. Oh, I gotta remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. That was the world. I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Self-exploration is a good goal in life. As long as you don't get lost in it. You know, part of me feels that the Mosfolheim seat is somewhere within Svartalheim. I might do an off-camera uh, off camera journey into Svartalheim. Just to make sure that I uh, didn't miss anything. had enough time to find his equilibrium indeed whatever i saw flashes of the old god of war and them but they were fleeting there is nothing wrong with opposing war nor opposing prophecy i suppose that's fair never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it am i the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jodenheim? if the giants saw to your leading armies at ragnarok and I believe that. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? I think that's a journey he has to make on his own. I don't feel that's like Kratos or Atreus's place. Got something to say, buddy? So, this whole spectral squirrel business. You can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? 
As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral form still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, Nick. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Should I have anything else for you, you'll be the first to know. What are you? All right. Um, I'm just going to end the recording right here because I feel what I'm about to walk into is going to take me way longer than just like four more minutes. So, uh... See you guys next time.